I've tried to make a fairy garden twice already this year, and both times the raccoons have knocked it over. So, I put it up on a chair, and I'm going to strap it down so they can't pull it over, because that's a heavy-ass chair. And I will be making my garden up here. Hello, bunny. Watch over it for me. So let's get our build on. And what I'm doing is I'm filling some old hand towels with compost. They're falling apart already. To be able to raise the level up. Let's see how that goes. Foundation is in. I just watered it with rainwater. Gotta let that soak into everything before I continue. There's a new challenge out there. Troll Forge is taking part. Grandma Sandy, she has put up a challenge. It's hashtag June Fairy Garden Challenge 2019. She would like to see everybody's fairy gardens. She's doing 30 in 30 days. Well, this is my first fairy garden. Little guy looks like he's in a flower pot with a flashlight and a little bluebird on his shoulders. And then we got the wise old tree that's overlooking everything. He's got a little owl in his hand. And there's a little welcome sign. And this guy's doing the watering. The grassy stuff's from my front yard. And these are little flowers, plants that didn't quite come up. And the wishing, well, it's only 10 cents. And this guy, he's got a little shovel. He's doing some digging. We got a bunny hiding over there. And all the way over there, we got a hedgehog. Got to have a hedgehog. Well, something even more exciting happened. I was getting ready. Hello, it's me, it's Mom. I was thinking on how I was going to make my little fairy garden. And look what my neighbor gave me. She went to Loch Ness and brought me back some rocks. So they were walking block nest, and every now and then she would bend over. The chicken's telling us another story. Every now and then she'd bend over and pick up a rock. And a friend asked her, what are you doing picking up rocks? And she says, I have a friend that just likes rocks. Oh, that's a pretty. It's nice and sparkly when it's in the sun. Oh, this one's got little pink pieces and blue pieces and gray pieces. Oh, this one's really, really sparkly. I don't know if it's showing up because I'm in the shade. It's nice and sparkly. Oh, this one's white with pink. <gasps> Look at this one's got holes in it. It's got termites. It's a termite rock. I didn't know rocks had termites. It's my fairy garden. Look in the water. What's that? Is that a Loch Ness monster in my Loch Ness? Oh, look on our itty bitty Loch Ness. There's a little bitty Nessie. Oh, how exciting. Oh, all gone. We're safe now. Grandma Sandy, I have accepted the challenge. Troll Forge took the challenge. He's got lots of fairy gardens, or I should they, or I should say they have lots of fairy gardens. So why don't you come and join? 
and a great big butterfly. So this is my gnome garden. Oh, Loch Ness Monster. He's going to hide in the wishing well. Hey, you chicken, don't you run over my gnomes. Don't you dare. This is how sweet my neighbor is. Ah, uh, my wise old tree. Paula gave me that a few years ago. The butterflies, I bought them a couple of summers ago from the 99 cent store. Loch Ness rocks are from Catherine. And so is the chicken on the tractor. Not to be confused with the chicken tractor. Then, of course, we have Nessie and Loch Ness.